still fucking up on me. Hold on one second. It's smoother for sure, just the combat with the worms is dumb. Oh, with the worms you just have to like fucking dodge like constantly. Ah, god damn it, hold on. I'm literally having so many issues today. <laughs> Okay, think, think I'm good, hopefully, <laughs> unless this thing fucks up on me again, which uh, in that case, uh, kind of screwed, but. Oh, so what you have to do with the Thresher Maws is, uh, because they track you. Like, if you're moving one way, they will shoot the same way that you're traveling. So what you have to do is just fake them out. So, like, you'll just, like, go to the left, and they'll shoot all the way across to the left, just so that they can hit you. So you have to start backing up and, uh, right as they shoot, so that they don't hit you. Thanks for bringing me on board, Commander. I knew working with that, that's the whole thing with Thresher Maws. <laughs> But to be honest, I might I want to try to speedrun the the stream side of my fucking Mass Effect playthrough because I want to get to Mass Effect two and three because that's the good shit. <laughs> as much as I love Mass Effect one, also, but it 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 still hasn't aged well. As much as they have improved it and shit, it it it's still aged pretty badly. <laughs> Uh, I don't think so. I don't, I don't, no, I don't think you can upgrade the ma uh, Mako. I hope you made the right well, sort of why I teamed up with you. Shit, Did I accidentally skipped dialogue. Oh well. <laughs> but uh, nah, you, you can't up, you can't upgrade it. The only way you upgrade basically is by leveling up. The higher your level is, the more damage you can take and all that. Getting the job done means endangering innocent people. Also, no. the great thing about this one is that, uh, Got it. I wasn't trying to. basically, instead of getting to level 60, you can basically get to level 30 and that'll translate to level 60 in this game now, which is great. Because getting to level 60 in this game before was a fucking nightmare. It would take like two or three uh, playthroughs just to do that. <laughs> But yeah, they they made hella improvements to the Mako. I wouldn't mind talking more later. Dismissed, Chief. Sir. Nice ship you've got, Shepard. What can I do for you? What's your story, Rex? There's no story. Oh yeah, and the other great thing is that the Mako actually uh whatchamacallit? Gets you uh like full on XP. Like it used to apparently uh, any kill you got on the Mako you was half XP. You now you get like adventure. your full XP that you're supposed to get. Well, there was one time <laughs> so that's also awesome. Down our entire race. That was fun. I heard about that. You know, they almost did the same. Oh, and it's also great that the snipers the work. Same. I'm doing the old school to 60 just to see how good the progression is. Oh well, good luck. You're going to have to go through probably like. Two playthroughs. <laughs> so people were infected with a genetic mutation. Or at least two playthroughs if you're going to try to get everything done. 
If you don't do everything, it's going to probably be like maybe three playthroughs with the old system. I suppose it isn't all the same. I don't expect you to understand. Yeah, Mark, you had me play through the entire game. It took me like five hours, but I did it. I was just making conversation. I wasn't trying to I speed ran the fuck out of that as best I could. While also getting you as much of the things that you needed for Mass Effect 2. I gave up on The genophage infected us, but it's not what's killing us. So long, Rex. Shepard. That that shit was maybe the fastest I've ever done in Mass Effect was with your playthrough. <laughs> But uh, yeah, this one's probably going to take a minute compared to that. To like, I'm, I'm trying to make sure I actually keep Rex alive because they changed it to where you have to make sure you get his armor or your uh, paragon has to be really high. The Normandy's a prototype, cutting edge technology. If you don't have either or, then uh, you're kind of fucked with Rex. <laughs> Yeah, I remember it was just like, I'm just sitting there and everybody in your house was just like, <laughs> this dude's just here playing video, or just playing this game, not even really saying shit, it's just, just there, just like trying to speed run through this. I had no idea you found ship technology so interesting. It comes with being a quarry. And I was just like, oh yeah, I'm done, okay, I'm, I'm leaving now. <laughs> After like five hours of just chilling there, just like, okay, you you want this? All right, cool. Doing this then. Oh, you want to get through this? All right, cool. Fucking, you want this decision? Cool. All right. <laughs> I can't believe your fleet's still using ships that are three centuries old. They're constantly being repaired, modified, and refitted. I think like in the background there was like fucking fairy tale too, just like just there. <laughs> Some things we just can't make on our own. A patch to maintain the hull integrity requires raw materials. Oh yeah, and I think for this playthrough, I'm basically actually yeah, this entire uh, playthrough that I do on stream, basically my character is just going to go with Liara, because at this point, after uh, redoing everything, I really feel like Bioware back then really wanted you to be with Liara, <laughs> like. There just seems to be so many things that like point to you like or like main things like to go with Liara. Oh god. Uh before I, I've seen a couple of things now that said that you have to get his armor now. Or like uh get his family heirloom armor back to him now or you have to be really really fucking high like I think up to like right where it says Paragon or right where that line underneath it I think it has to be like up to there now to like do it it's either that or get his armor Otherwise, he's just going to be like, nah, fuck this. Okay, so first things first, we're saving Liara. But yeah, basically just ma make sure you get his armor before you go to Vermeer. Like, make sure you talk to him enough to where he tells you about his family heirloom. And then go get that, and then do Vermeer. But uh, you're you're also doing the like the old school level system, so I'm not sure if that'll change it by much or not. Ah, uh, shit. Commander, I'm picking up a signal from the planet's surface. It looks like an automated distress beacon. Oh yeah, shit. This is the wrong place. This is with the fucking Thresher Maw. I'm not fucking with that right now. 
Uh, shit. Wait, which cluster is she in? Journal. I don't care about that. Yara. Artemis. Okay. That's Sparta. Am I just dumb? <laughs> yeah, I'm in the right place. Okay, yeah. I I'm just dumb. The planet starts with an M. I just did it. Oh. <laughs> Uh. Oh yeah, here we go. There I'm. This is the right one. <laughs> Starts with the T though. <laughs> I, I just recognized the little picture. Uh, we're going to get Garrus. Now we're just gonna get Rex. You know, because it has the picture of the refinery. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that that's exactly how I think. <laughs> I don't even remember the planet name. I just like the f refinery picture is all I need. <laughs> Oh yeah, that was the other thing they changed. If uh, the Mako lands in lava, you don't instantly die now. It just burns your, like, shields really badly. I'm doing a Tali romance thing. Well, you, you gotta wait till two to do that because, uh, you can't do that in one still. Or, like, you can't do it till two. Because in one, she's still, like... Still like a uh, what? I think she's like 16 or something. <laughs> so uh, yeah, can't do that shit with Tali. <laughs> or 17, I think. I think something like that. But either way, your only choices in Mass Effect One are like Liara and Ashley, and then she becomes available in two. Yeah, Liara is probably the best choice. <laughs> oh god. I, I've come to the conclusion to just say fuck uh, Ashley. Like. <laughs> oh yeah, this is the other great thing about the fucking Mako now. You can actually, like, just fucking actually target shit. And, like, zoom in. You don't have to stay just, like, out like this. This shit's so good. She's like 17? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> also, I forgot how annoying Ashley is. Yeah, you and me both, man. I actually used to always go for Ashley, and then I started playing 3, and then I'm just like, why the fuck did I ever go for Ashley? Like, ever. Don't gotta worry about those turrets no more. <laughs> now we're just going to go ahead and... Hell yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> It's 
since I don't gotta really worry about all this. Since you get like full XP anyways, it doesn't even fucking matter. Just wiping out all these guys. go. Oh yeah, they also changed this. Which I actually prefer too. Like the whole hacking and all that. Thought she was cute in one, but nah, she's always been annoying. <laughs> also, Soldier is the best class, even though I love Adept in 2 and 3. Oh yeah, Soldier is always fucking good. The fact that you have an assault rifle and the assault rifles are fucking godlike. Especially if uh, you get Garrus' loyalty in two and uh, get armor piercing rounds, you fucking just melt everything. It doesn't even fucking matter what it is. Like, oh, it's it's a reap is the fucking human reaper? Melt that shit within like seconds. Oh, it's a uh, fucking what is it? Like a Geth Prime or fucking like the little that tank thing that the reapers have? Nah, you just melt that shit. <laughs> you don't even need a heavy weapon. You just have an assault rifle. <laughs> Especially uh, the Severus gun, I think it's called the Matlog or something like that. It starts with an M. But uh, it's like a single shotgun where you just like have to pull the trigger to make it shoot as fast as you want. But uh, basically that gun with armor piercing rounds just melts everything. Or once you get to like uh, Mass Effect 3, any of the light machine guns with armor piercing rounds, just yeah, th everything's dead. <laughs> Especially like the uh, N7 guns, like any of the N7 assault rifles. Um, I think it's the Hydra, which is the Severus gun, which is the automatic version of uh, the Matlock. Like that one also melts. Wait, I just realized I'm driving backwards. <laughs> Yeah, Adept is broken into, max out the black hole ability, and the human reapers just melt for doing the hard mission and insane. Oh, yeah. Fuck, okay, I, I, actually, you know what? I never really do the biotics. But that makes sense. Fucking singularity and all that shit. That, that move's actually pretty stupid. Oh, I'm getting shot from across the fucking map over there. Thinking they're, like, really close and shit. Oh boy. Yeah, uh, I won. You know, I need to check the difficulty after this. <laughs> I feel like I'm playing on fucking easy, that's why this these guys are melting so easily. Yeah, singularity is godlike, but I hate how you couldn't use the assault rifle at all. Yeah, that, that's the trade-off. Either get your abilities, or you fucking choose to have a like a fucking godlike weapon <laughs> you don't get a in between you either get super psychic powers or you get really good guns <laughs> or every gun in the fucking game 
Uh, gameplay. No, this is not normal. I had to fucking change that for Mass Effect 2 because for whatever reason it switched me to easy on there. I'll say the other reason why I actually use, or like the Mako is actually better now too, is just that I'm actually killing everything on here. Like, I have actual reason to kill everything just because there's actual XP to gain. And it's not that whole half XP shit. Like, I'm already, I think, almost close to leveling up again. Yeah, I'm already almost about to be leveled up again. There we go. Max out the soldier. Oh, yeah. Freaking, what is it? What was I about to say? My brain just like fried. <laughs> I forgot what I was about to say. Oh, yeah, freaking. I'm gonna be like streaming this like after I get all three playthroughs done. I'm gonna be doing this again, but just a uh, renegade playthrough. <laughs> that, that's gonna be the plan. Pretty much my uh, normal playthrough is just gonna be me just doing the game normally and then. I'm going to just do like a speed, well, kind of a speed run with uh, max level characters on insane to just get the achievements and all that. Because I've never actually completed uh, Mass Effect 1 or 2 on insane. Like, I've completed 2 with Shadow Broker. Like, I've completed the Shadow Broker on insane, but never the rest of the game. I think I actually completed the suicide mission on Insane too. Oh, we got bots. Damn it. It's okay, Garrus can handle this and Rex. There we go. Oh boy. Yep, there we go, already leveled up again. <laughs> this shit's nuts. do that for now and up this I don't have any assault rifles yet or any better ones
All right. Yeah, I beat two on insane and three on insane. Just didn't want to after dumb ending. Oh, what for three? Because I mean, three is not bad. Like the ending is not the m most horrible thing. It was just kind of a letdown for the most part, especially when it first came out. Like. Didn't really give you the conclusion that you were really hoping for. <laughs> the extended cut helped though. Like, at least gave you like more closure than it did when the game first came out where it was just like, you chose a color, yay! <laughs> Congratulations on beating and stopping the Reapers. And then I guess there was like the little secret ending, but even then, like... And a cover, Rex. Was like pre patch. Oh, <laughs> yeah, understandable. <laughs> I can actually use a sniper now. This is so amazing, also. The fact that you can actually use a sniper in the fucking old games now. It's actually like usable. There we go. Oh yeah, I forgot you can't fucking like roll and shit. <laughs> I'm already used to like two and three, being able to like roll and fucking dive. <laughs> Oh yeah, and there's that whole thing with the whole fatigue and all that stuff. The one thing that's going to suck is doing Pharaohs. Luckily, I remember what the button it is to throw the grenade this time. It's probably going to be the same thing where I end up killing like two of the colonists on that fucking planet. <sighs> that was another mission I hated on this game. Or actually, the only mission I hated on this game. Because having only like five grenades and not really a way of giving more current. Oh my god, I'm about to die. Oh yeah, I don't have any first aid things either. Fuck. Shit. 
uh, Pharos where you have to go and save the colonists that are like controlled by like that plant. It's a D-pad button for the health packs. You have like five of them. Oh shit! <laughs> Can you hear me out there? I'm trapped. I'm I thought it was like a button. I thought you had to have like a uh, first aid or some shit. Are you okay? What happened to you? Listen, this thing I'm in is a Prothean security device. I cannot move, so I need you to get me out of it. All right? We just need to figure some way past this energy field. It's a Prothean barrier curtain. I knew it would keep me safe from the Geth. When I turned it on, I must have hit something I wasn't supposed to. I was trapped in here. You must get me out, please. We'll find some way to help you. There is a control in here that should deactivate this thing. You'll have to find some way past the barrier curtain. That's the tricky part. The defenses cannot be shut off from the outside. I don't know how you'll get in here. Be careful. There is a Krogan with the Geth. They have been trying different ways to get past the barrier. The old game you needed first aid, I think. Yeah, that, that's what I remember. Like, I remember you had to have like first aid and some other ability to fucking heal like that. Which I don't have. Okay, that's one down. By default on the keyboard, it's V. Ah, uh, well, that's the problem. <laughs> I don't play on keyboard. <laughs> I probably should at some point, since now I actually got a decent keyboard that works. But uh, for now, I'm still sticking to just the normal uh, controller. I still haven't gotten to the point where I'm like, feel tr like. Oh wait. Uh. Oh wait. Shit. There we go. <laughs> You should see if you can macro it on the settings. Uh, let's see actually. Uh, no, it's just mostly keyboard bindings. Yeah, it doesn't even show me for like controller. I probably can, but. I'm not going to worry about it. Oh, how did you get in here? I didn't think there was any way past the barrier. Apparently did yeah, not hear this fucking laser, though. <laughs> yes, you're right. I've seen enough of them to last a lifetime. That button should shut down my containment field. Not so fast, Shepard. You sure she's on our side? Her mother's working with Saren. I am not my mother. I don't even... I don't know why Benezia joined Saren. I don't want anything to do with that Turian bastard. If she was with Saren, the Geth wouldn't be trying to kill her. Old school, mash all the buttons to see which one heals. <laughs> yeah, that's that's probably what's going to happen at some point. <laughs> when I need it again. Any idea how we get out of this place? 
There is an elevator back in the center of the tower. At least I For now though, I don't I'm, I'm okay. Should take us out of here. Come on. I don't think I'm going to die again anytime soon. I Maybe in this next part, this. but I don't think that Krogan's going to fuck me up that bad. Do you think Benezia's involved? Saren's looking for the conduit. You're a Prothean expert. Obviously, he wants you to help him find it. The conduit, but I don't know. What the hell was that? These ruins are not stable. That mining laser must have triggered a seismic event. We have to hurry. The whole place is caving in. Joker, get the Normandy airborne and lock in on my signal. On the double, mister. Aye, aye, Commander. Secure and away. ETA, eight minutes. If I die in here, I'll kill him. Now we just go on an elevator during an earthquake. <laughs> Also, I just realized fucking Liara's like, how'd you get in here? And then knows immediately that she used a fucking laser. <laughs> I spammed the advanced bullet thing on everybody. What, the overkill? Or, uh... I think it's probably overkill you're talking about. I don't. That would be more fun. In case you didn't notice, this place is falling apart. Exhilarating, isn't it? Thanks for getting rid of those energy fields for us. Had the doctor over. Whatever it is you want, you are not getting it from me. She'll stay with us, thanks. Not an option. Saren wants her, and he always gets what he wants. Kill him. Spare the Asari if you can. Not, doesn't matter. <laughs> Okay, do that. Have him do that. Have him also do that. Oh my god. Oh, they just fucking tore through my health like nothing. Okay, so it's not the D-pad, because, uh... <laughs> That's all the commands to order them around. Also, I forgot all about the fucking Kro or Krogan's always face planting. Whenever they got downed enough, they would just re fucking heal after getting downed. Yeah, overkill is broken compared to before, <laughs> since the shots actually register. Oh yeah, because you don't have the stupid uh, RNG hitbox, or like your hitbox isn't so uh, like huge like it used to. They actually made it... Um... Like, pretty much smaller. Like, it won't go as huge as it used to, where it just be basically becomes RNG, which is nice. Don't tell me it's select. Shit, I don't know, man. <laughs> I, I would have to do it again once I get out of this, or go to the next mission, which is uh, Novaria. <laughs> we saved Liara just to go kill her mother next. That, that's, that's the plan. Too close, Commander. Ten more seconds we would have been swimming in molten sulfur. The Normandy isn't equipped to land in exploding volcanoes. They tend to fry our sensors and melt our hull. Just for future reference. We almost died out there, and your pilot is making jokes. Hell yeah, he's making jokes. Joker pulled asses <laughs> out of there. I think he's earned the right to a few bad jokes. I see. It must be a human thing. I don't have a lot of experience dealing with your species, Commander. But I am grateful to you. You saved my life back there. And not just from the volcano. Those geth would have killed me or dragged me off to Saren. Like, I'm pretty sure I only need, like, first aid to actually use my fucking metagel. Pretty sure that's what I need. That is my real area of expertise. I have spent the past 50 years trying to figure out what happened to them. How old are you exactly? I hate to admit it, but I am only 100. Fucking Joker MVP. Damn. Yeah, Joker's awesome. One of the best characters in this game. seem like a long time to a short-lived species like yours. 
but among the Asari, I am barely considered more than a child. That is why my research has not. But again, like almost all the characters in this game are amazing. <laughs> other Asari scholars tend to dismiss my theories on what happened to the Protheans. I've got my own theory on why the Protheans disappeared. With all due respect, Commander, I have heard every theory out there. The problem is finding evidence to support them. The Protheans left remarkably little behind. It is almost as if someone did not want the mystery solved. It is like someone came along after the Protheans were gone and cleansed the galaxy of clues. But here is the incredible part. According to my findings, the Protheans were not the first galactic civilization to mysteriously vanish. This cycle began long before them. <sighs> okay, uh, yeah, we'll just keep doing the good stuff. But yeah, like, I think the only characters that I would honestly say are kind of bad for the party, or like, aren't that great, is like Kaden and fucking uh, Ashley. That's because they kind of like made them kind of terrible because of fucking Mass Effect 2 where they just like, like nah fuck you I don't know who you are anymore because you're working with Severus. <laughs> if the Protheans weren't the first then who was? And like always I constantly doubting you and shit. There is barely any evidence on the Protheans even less on those who came before them. I cannot prove my theory but I know I am right. The galaxy is built on a cycle of extinction. Each time a great civilization rises up, it is suddenly and violently cast down. Only ruins survive. The Protheans rose up from a single world until their empire spanned the entire galaxy. <laughs> Since they can die. Oh yeah, that, that's true also. <laughs> their greatest achievements, the mass relays and the citadel, are based on the technology of those who came before them. And then, like all the other forgotten civilizations throughout galactic history, the Protheans disappeared. I have dedicated my life to figuring out why. They were wiped out by a race of sentient machines. The Reapers. The, the Reapers? But I have never heard of. How do you know this? What evidence do you have? There was a damaged Prothean beacon on Eden Prime. It burned a vision into my brain. I'm still trying to sort out what it all means. Vision? Yes, that uh, makes it. sense. The beacons were designed to transmit information directly into the mind of the user. I, sh I should speed run through this entire game, to be honest, but no wonder I I'm trying to actually have like the, the dialogue and stuff. <laughs> Even a badly damaged one is worth almost any risk. But the beacons were only programmed to interact with Prothean physiology. Whatever information you receive, I, th I think I've actually spoiled myself going into fucking two and three already. I am amazed you were able to make sense of it at all. A lesser mind would have been utterly destroyed by the process. You must be remarkably strong-willed, Commander. Okay, this isn't helping us find Saren or the Conduit. Of course, you are right. I am sorry, my scientific curiosity got the better of me. Unfortunately, I do not have any information that could help you find the Conduit or Saren. I don't know why Saren wanted you out of the picture, but I think we'll be a lot better off if we bring you along. Thank you, Commander. Saren might come after me again. I cannot think of anywhere safer than here on your ship. And my knowledge of the Protheans might be useful later on. And her bionics will come in handy when the fighting starts. Good to have you on the team, Liara. Thank you, Commander. I am very grateful. Oh, I am afraid I am feeling a bit lightheaded. When was the last time you ate or slept? Dr. Chakwa should take a look at you. It is probably just mental exhaustion. Coupled with the shock of you already played two and three? Yeah, I, I've already. I, so, this playthrough on my stream is just for the stream. But I had my own playthrough for one, which I already finished, and I got to like level thirty, which is max for the legendary edition. And then uh, two, I already finished, like completed all the DLCs and all that stuff, and completed the suicide mission perfectly, and did all that. And then right now I'm on three and I'm like halfway through. <laughs> we can talk again after you've seen. The so, yeah, the rest I, I've already spoiled myself. Like mission reports are found. if you go to like my Twitter or Instagram, too, like I already have like tons of photos of just <laughs> Mass Effect That's stuff true, constantly Setting throughout all of them. Now, Commander. We've received your report, Commander. I understand Dr. Tassoni is on the Normandy. I assume you're taking the necessary security precautions. The air is on ours. Like, I, I've been, like, I think I have, like, maybe 50 or 100 photos already. <laughs> just, like, sitting on my computer. Or, like, the OneDrive. Just sitting there. 
I just have to like start posting them and shit. At least the mission was a success. Apart from the utter destruction of a major Prothean ruin, was that really necessary, Shepard? Fuck the council. <laughs> That's another thing. Fuck this goddamn council. Even though I'm gonna keep them alive. Fuck these guys. Good luck, Commander. Remember, we are all counting on you. Oh yeah, 2 and 3 is just so good for gameplay. Oh yeah. Like, you don't have to worry about this RNG bullshit. Don't have to... Like, pretty much set everybody's gun to a different thing. Like, I, I like it and all. But at the same time, it's just like... It's really fucking annoying to do. Uh, I have no reason being be in Dr. Chakwa's place. I could talk to Kaden, but I'm going to kill him, so I'm just going to let him be there. It's fine. <laughs> oh yeah, and also just the fact that I don't have to choose everybody's gun individually. individually. Like, it's fucking great. Like, I don't have to be like, oh, this gun's fucking better? Alright. Um. Oh, yeah, and the armor pieces, too. I don't have to worry about that shit either. Commander, how are you? Why did you want to be a CSEC officer in the first place? Hmm. That's a good question. There were several reasons, I guess. Like what? Probably the same as most officers. I wanted to fight injustice. <laughs> I personally like Caden more, but I'm gonna kill too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. At this point, I'm kind of the same way, but like I do it all the time anyway, so I'm just like, fuck it, might as well. I think whenever I do my insan or insanity run, I will probably end up saving him, since I always save Ashley, and I'm just. Everything in my insanity run is just going to be what's the worst that could happen, <laughs> probably. That's tough, but you'd think he'd be impressed you're going after Sarah. <laughs> Kate is going to get the fucked up version of Shepard. I can understand his concern. You can. But Saren's not going to play by our rules. CSEX rules. If you want to nail Saren, you need to send someone who isn't restricted by policies and procedures. Just because you can break the rules doesn't mean you should. I don't need to stoop to Saren's level to stop him. And neither do you, Garrus. I see what you mean. Kayan also has better character progression anyways. Thanks, Commander. Uh... Actually, you know what? I, I don't even really know. Because I, I always kill Caden. I've never actually let him live all the way through 3. So I, I personally would not even know. Have a minute to talk. I keep an open door policy. If you have any concerns, lay them on me. Alright. I do know, like, through know 1, he, like, Normandy. he does technically kind of about have some it's progression, but nice. I don't know about 2 and 3. All due respect, Commander. Should they have full access to the ship? Like, Ashley here fucking is like races as shit <laughs> throughout <laughs> one. At least as far as Saren goes. This is the most advanced ship in the Alliance Navy. I don't think we should give them free range to poke around the vital systems engines, sensors, weapons. You don't trust the Alliance <clears throat> allies? I'm not sure I'd call the Council races allies. We. humanity. <clears throat> we have to learn to rely on ourselves. I would want a Mass Effect of Dromeda remaster too, mainly not making everybody ugly. Man, nah, fuck fuck a Dromeda, dude. That that game does not need to come back. That 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 game is the reason why we don't even have like another fucking Mass Effect coming through. 
Fuck that game. I don't think we should turn down. It was so bad. I de I couldn't even finish it one playthrough. It took me like four months to even complete one playthrough for that game because I just fucking hated it. Like it was so bad. You've got a pessimistic view of the universe, Williams. A pessimist is what an optimist calls a realist. Look, if you're fighting a bear and the only way for you to survive is to sick your dog on it and run, you'll do it. As much as you love your dog, it isn't human. It's not racism, not really. Members of their species will always be more important to them than humans are. These seem like deeply held beliefs, Williams. What made you think this way? My family's defended the Alliance since it was founded. My father, grandfather, great-grandmother, they all picked up a rifle and swore the oath of service. I guess we just tend to think of Earth's interests as our own. I, I really want to. I, I really want to. <laughs> all right. I can see where your concerns are coming from, Williams. But this is a multilateral mission. You're going to have to work with aliens, like it or not. It won't be a problem, Commander. You say jump, I say how high. You tell me to kiss a Turian, I'll ask which cheek. I don't think kissing Turians will be necessary. You never know, Commander. We'll talk later. Looking forward to it, sir. So, we've got Saren on the run. Okay. <laughs> it won't be long. Now. I never played it, I just Saren's watched good. MK yeah, Ice yeah. and Fire play through it. Oh, well, let me tell you. Fucking playing through it is a fucking chore, dude. <laughs> like, Andromeda pretty much just, like, takes everything, just makes the whole universe just super boring. Like, everything that made fucking Mass Effect super interesting, like characters, species, and all that shit, just out the fucking window. <laughs> I think I'd like to hear about it just the same. This was a while ago. A bunch of murders. It, it, I don't know, it just sucked. And then on top of that, there's so many like there, there should have been DLC for like story. Like they had a whole thing about the Quarians still being out there. They had like a lot of other fucking species that were just like not even there. And you never did anything because it never it didn't sell well. And on top of that, the multiplayer fucking sucked and had tons of microtransactions and they're just like you know what? We're going to push through the multiplayer. We, we want you to go spend money in the multiplayer that isn't even that good in this one compared to 3. I didn't know Sarah and, was yeah. recording <laughs> mercs. It wasn't that open. And then Mass Effect became iced up until this remaster. <laughs> in the area for months when we took out this massive cargo freighter. Our biggest Oh, and on top of all that, the characters, none of the characters were really that interesting for fucking Andromeda. Like, I don't know. I, I wouldn't want that game to come back. <laughs> I don't know what he wanted. He was just moving through the ship, watching. A couple of the mercs called him by name, but he never spoke to them. Never spoke to anyone. I had a really bad feeling about him, so I got the hell out. Like, uh, I'd say if anything, I would either want something that was like a prologue to Mass Effect, or something after Mass Effect Three, like after one of the fucking endings. Like, if they could do something like that, that would be awesome. Like after Shepard and all that. But the, the whole thing of like, oh, these people got sent into deep space to go to another galaxy in the hopes that if the Reapers fucking wiped out the galaxy, that our races would still be alive and shit? Nah. <laughs> that, that, that shit kind of sucked. <laughs> it it could have done, been done better, but they didn't. <laughs> That's the only time you saw him? Yeah. Didn't even know who he was. Still wouldn't if I hadn't joined up with you. But my instincts were right. Every other merc on that mission turned up dead within a week. Every damn one. Okay. So long. That's it for Rex. 
Uh, check up on Tali. Oh yeah, we gotta check up on Liara too. That's why I was going to Dr. Chakwa's office. Peaceful. Don't worry, you'll get used to it. But it's more than just a silence. This ship feels so empty. It's like half the crew is missing. <sighs> Back home, I couldn't wait to go on my pilgrimage. I couldn't wait to get away from the crowds. Now that I'm out here, I kind of miss them. Sometimes we don't appreciate what we have until it's gone. That's true. I'm starting to wonder if that's what the pilgrimage is really about. It's given me a whole new perspective on my people and our culture. You know, there's always a few who go on their pilgrimages and never return. I always Oh yeah, I hella forgot fucking Tolly's like super uh I just wanted a different life. She's hella different from two and three. Well, I guess it's also because she's like fucking still like just barely seeing the universe, but you do plan to return to She was like Super more curious about stuff than in two and three, where she like gets hella close-minded, <laughs> or not as close-minded, but fucking. I should go. See you later. She just like really hates Geth in that one, or like the two and three. Or actually, three not so much, but two she's just like, man, fuck the Geth constantly. <laughs> Okay, let's go talk to Liara. Start start up this romance and stuff. Commander, are you coming to check up on me? You look much better. How are you feeling? <laughs> Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. You're in good hands. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. I never properly thanked you for saving me from the Geth Commander. If you hadn't shown up, I... I'm just glad we got there in time. So am I. I know you took a chance bringing me aboard this ship. I have seen the way your crew looks at me. They do not trust me. But I am not like Benezia. I will do whatever I can to help you stop Saren. I promise. All right, just gotta reassure and all that, and then we we are going to Novaria. It means a lot to hear you say that, Commander. Thank you. Actually, I forgot. Tell me about yourself, Liara. Me? Okay, yeah, he can talk more. Very interesting, Commander. I spend most of my time on remote digs, unearthing mundane items buried in long-forgotten Prothean ruins. Sounds dangerous and lonely. Sometimes, I would run afoul of indigenous life forms or stumble across a small band of mercenaries or privateers. But I was always careful. Until the Geth followed me to Artemis Tau. I never found myself in any situation my biotics could not handle. As for the solitude, well, that is one aspect that most appealed to me. Sometimes, I just need to get away from other people. You don't like other people? I suppose Ain't that the fucking truth? <laughs> People expected me to follow in Benezia's footsteps. They wanted me to become a leader of our people. Matriarchs guide their followers into the future. They seek the truth of what is yet to come. Maybe that's why I became so interested in the secrets of the past. It sounds so foolish when I say it out loud. It sounds like I became an archaeologist simply to spite Benezia. All children rebel against their parents. It's a natural part of growing up. <laughs> you share the wisdom of the matriarch, Shepard. That is exactly what Benezia said when I told her of my decision. But there was more to it than that. I felt drawn to the past. The Protheans were these wondrous, mysterious figures. I wanted to know everything about them. That is why I find you so fascinating. You were marked by the beacon on Eden Prime. You were touched by working Prothean technology. Sounds like you want to dissect me in a lab somewhere. What? <laughs> no! 
I did not mean to insinuate. Uh, I never meant to offend you, Shepard. I only meant that you would be an interesting specimen for an in-depth study. Uh, no, that's even worse. Calm down. Oh, man. I was only there, I was great, too. <laughs> joking. Oh, by the goddess, how could I be so dense? You must think I am a complete and utter fool. Now you know why I prefer to spend my time in the field with data disks and computers. I always seem to say something embarrassing around other people. Please, just pretend this conversation never happened. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. Alright, now, now we're going to go to Neveria. <laughs> we got all the talking done. We're, we're going to actual action now. Well, I lied about that too. There's going to be still more talking. But, uh... At least we'll get to the action part soon enough. Uh, Novaria. Message coming in. Oh shit, I'm 17 on the new Message level through. progression? Yeah. Command so, uh, My name is with, with the new level Command progression, you. pretty much you're basically, like, every level is, like, two. Basically. So, like, by the time you get to 30, you're, you're level 60. So we can talk in person. <laughs> that, that, that's how this works. Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> you, you can switch between the two, so... Yeah, basically, if you do switch, though, you might as well just stick to the Legendary Edition, because you'll go up two levels instead of fucking one at a time. Citadel business. We got a council specter aboard. Landing access granted. Normandy. Be advised we will be confirming identification on arrival. If confirmation cannot be established, your vessel will be impounded. What a fun bunch. I think I'll take my next leave here. Alright, time to actually let me level up real fast. Uh, let's see. Probably should get my arm. Oh yeah, there we go. Now I can actually use that. <laughs> now I can heal myself. If anyone has to take over for Captain Anderson, I'm glad it's you. Not okay, sure you know, I'm just say. going. To... Respect, Carry on, Presley. Yes, I'm sir. Just going to do that. I, I actually don't want to talk to Presley. Uh, so we get Liara, and we're going to get Garrus. But yeah, I'd, I'd rather be on the Legendary Edition than be on uh, the old system. Just because, well, you become broken way faster, I guess, is the best way to say it. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get Singularity for her. It's kind of her thing anyways. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just level up throw. I think he's good. Oh no, he has four too. Um, let's just get him his assault training. That should be fine. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Actually, did I have any better guns? No. Better guns for her, at least. I mean, it's not like it's gonna matter, but might as well, right? Hello. 
That's far enough. We're not here to cause problems. This is an unscheduled arrival. I need your credentials. I'm a Spectre. My name is Shepard. Load of horse crap, man. We will need to confirm that. Also, I must advise you that firearms are not permitted on Novaria. Sergeant Sterling, secure their weapons. Citadel Authority supersedes you. <coughs> Stand down. It's their house, their rules. If you think this is best, Commander. Captain Matsuo, stand down. We confirmed their identity. Spectres are authorized to carry weapons here, Captain. You may proceed, Spectre. I hope the rest of your visit will be less confrontational. Parasini san will meet you upstairs. If only it was. If only it was. <laughs> All right, let's, let's talk to her. I am Gianna Parasini, assistant to Administrator Analeas. We apologize for the incident in the docking bay. I appreciate your help. You're welcome. You understand our security chief was only doing her job. One of my duties is orientation of new arrivals. Do you have any questions? Uh. Has anyone unusual passed through here recently? Unusual? An Asari matriarch passed through a few days ago, Lady Venezia. Venezia? She is here? Can I speak with her? Venezia left for the Peak 15 research complex days ago. To the best of my knowledge, she's still there. Could you tell me how to get there? You'll need to ask Administrator Analeas for clearance to leave this port. Where can I find the Administrator? His office is on the main level, left at the top of the elevator. Oh, yeah. Understood. Can of course. Away? If you need any help, you uh, can I'm ask me. kind of skipping through some of this. <laughs> I imagine you want oh, to God damn it. Me, about my mother. No, I don't. I trust you, Liara. You may not be military, but you're part of my crew. Thank you, Shepard. That means a great deal to me. Okay. Uh, going to go ahead and just go up. And then we're going to do the little side missions Welcome here. Welcome to Port Hanshan, the galaxy's most respected site for independent scientific research and development. For your own safety and to protect the privacy of others, you are required to obey any directions given by our security personnel. If you have questions or concerns, our friendly administrative staff is always available. Thank you, and enjoy your stay. Okay, we're going to go talk to Annalise. And then get to start finding out all the blackmail shit for him. <laughs> How can I help you? I'd like to speak to Analeas. One moment, please. Mr. Analeas? Yes, what, what? Commander Shepard is asking to see you, sir. Right, fine, come in. You will excuse me if I don't stand up. I have no time to entertain space-born vagabonds. I'm here as a specter, not a human. Keep that in mind. Believe me, that is foremost in my mind. This greeting is a courtesy. I will only cooperate as required by the executive board. Businesses come here to avoid the second guessing of galactic law. Uh, I'm conducting we'll an investigation. Do the basic stuff. A matter of galactic We're not going to go into detail with this playthrough. Yes, isn't everything. I will not allow you to harass our clients. This world is private property. Do you do business with Agent Saren? Agent Saren? One of your Spectre compatriots? He is a major investor in Binary Helix Corporation, which is one of Novaria's backers. I've heard an Asari matriarch is here. She arrived a few days ago, accompanied by a personal escort and some cargo. She's up at Peak 15. What brought her out here? If I knew, I wouldn't be at liberty to say. She came here as Agent Saren's executor. She is here on business for Binary Helix. There were issues at Peak 15 that required Saren's attention. I have no more questions at Good. this time. I received a dozen urgent messages while you dithered about. That dude's also fucking annoying as hell, Saren but... Saren isn't the only one with a past to leave Hanshan. You've never worked in the corporate world, have you, Commander? You can't bludgeon through bureaucracy. So it would seem. I need an alternative. Talk to Lorik Keen. You should be able to find him at the hotel bar. Can't say more. Not within earshot of Mr. Talk Hill. to you later. Very well. All right. 
Up to the bar we go now. <laughs> yeah, this whole part's just a bunch of like corporate bullshit. Basically, we just have to go jumping through hoops and shit just so that we can get a pass to actually go fucking investigate. <laughs> Basically, we'll be like running up and down this bar constantly for, well, like two or three times. Excuse me, I need a moment of. The male human at the hotel bar? He's a sales rep for Binary Helix. His name is Raphael Vargas. I need you to speak with him. Do you know who I am? And we'll also get a couple of these side quests here. Everyone here knows who you are, Dullstone. That makes you ideal for my job. You are a known quantity. Or so Vargas will think. He will assume you are here to investigate his company's dirty laundry. That will distract him from your... My... Real intentions. I don't know anything about Binary Helix. What would I talk to Vargas about? I represent the Aramali City Council on Thessia. Our town is known for its biotic amp crafters. What is your city's interest in Binary Helix? They do not manufacture amps. Much of BH's work relates to biotics. There are rumors that the Novaria branch has flown in Asari biotics. Powerful ones. Commandos, to be specific. We want to assess any potential risk to Asari copyrights. You will present yourself as a buyer, on behalf of the Spectres or the Alliance. Discuss their military enhancement programs. Your real objective will be to distract him. I will give you a device that will crack into his personal wireless network. It will upload a variety of monitoring viruses. They will infiltrate Binary Helix when he logs onto their intranet. I'll just you think do the like, just for show? good thing My and just be like, nah. <laughs> Do you think that Binary Helix obeys all the laws? That they do not spy on other companies? What they might be doing somewhere else doesn't justify my acting against them here. Very well, Spectre. I'll be on my way. Besides, so she like, insults you like the first time you even talk to her and shit. <laughs> Afternoon. Sit down, have a drink. What can I do for you? Are you Lorik Keen? I've heard you might be able to help me. You are the Spectre that just <laughs> arrived, are you not? What can old Besides, it doesn't really do much anyways, like, you just help her and then she's just like, ah, oh, here, here's some credits. Doesn't really, I, if I remember right, they don't even really steal anything from them. I'm trying to find a way into the garage. I have places to go. You need a pass. How fortuitous. I'm the manager of the local Synthetic Insights office, for the moment at least. Mr. Analeas closed my office. He claims to be investigating reports of my corruption. The administrator is an interesting man. He's become quite wealthy since he took direct control of rents. I sense a connection there. Indeed. I acquired evidence of Analeas' actions. His hired goons are ransacking my office to find it. I suspect your goal lies outside this port. Mr. Analeas would be disinclined to let you wander. If you recover the evidence from my office, I will give you my garage pass, as well as a sum of credits. You have a plan? I do. However, there is one other... What is that charming human expression? Fly in the lotion? Violence Never heard Mr. that. Violence <laughs> may be necessary. He has members of Han Shan's security team searching my offices. He's paying them under the table. Miss Matsuo is unaware of their outside employment. If I have to kill the guards, I'm afraid I can't help you. There's True no... enough. Though I hasten to point out that Ms. Matsuo disapproves of outside contracting. If you change your mind, I will remain here. I see no other options at present. Yeah, I actually have to do it. I actually hand. forgot what other options there are, so we're just going to... For you today? I've been thinking over your difficulty. Indeed. So if I help you, you'll help yes. me. If you recover the evidence from my office, I will give you my garage. You have a plan? I do. However, okay, we're just he's fine. paying them under the table. 
Miss Matsuo is. I'll focus on trying to get your evidence. If I'm lucky, I will. Excellent. Ask. Here is my pass into. Oh, and do try to keep blood stains off the carpets, would you? Why the hell did it put me? Okay. There we go. Hate when it does that. Like, I, I don't want a sniper rifle, I just want to fucking <laughs> keep my assault rifle out at all times. Because there's no way I'm going to use the fucking pistol. Well, I might use a pistol. Shotgun, not so much. I don't think I have enough Paragon yet, but we're, we're going to try. Because <laughs> I think, what is it? Yeah, my charm's already maxed out as high as it can be, but we'll see. Freeze! Hanshan security. This office is sealed. Lorik Keen gave me a pass in. Keen? Are you working for him? He's under investigation. Oh shit, I actually have enough. Analeas is paying you to shake this place down. Does Captain Matsuo know you're here? Hey, I'm not the one who wants Keen. Analeas has a Varen up his ass about this guy. How about this? You pretend you didn't see us, we'll pretend we didn't see you. Oh, I still have to deal with the rest of them, though. Holy shit. <laughs> Everything's just exploding. Ow. Yep. There we go. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and do this. about all that and then we're just going to go up there and wipe out the rest of these guys yeah there's only one evidence I don't think you're supposed to be in here Shepard you have me at a disadvantage miss oh now you're gonna show some respect I'm sergeant Kyra Sterling Ilanis risk control services Analeas would throw you off world for what you did here I won't you know what we did to cop killers on my world? Your men are dirty, Sergeant. You're here off-duty, breaking the law for bribe money. I didn't want to fight them. They fired first. Well, I don't need a gun to... I also love the fact that she's just like... Yo, you wanna see what happens when we do to people who kill cops here? Fucking, even though know, it's like, they're the ones fucking doing corrupt ass shit. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> God damn it. I didn't pay attention to my health. Hopefully it gave me the checkpoint, like, after getting the fucking... Yeah, there we go. Cool. This is what I get for not paying attention to my health. I don't think you're. No, I'm not. I'm Sergeant Analeas. But your men are you dirty, Sergeant. Your. Well, I don't have a gun. Come on, pull down. Yeah. 
Okay, straight up this fucking. Oh, yeah, that, that would do it. That's probably what it would do. Yeah, I probably wanna just stick to like shotguns and fucking assault rifles. Commander, there have been reports of noise from the synthetic insights office. Would you know anything about it? Probably Analeas's thugs ripping the place apart. Smart ass, huh? That's fine. I can work with that. Meet me at the hotel for a drink before you talk to Keith. Uh, but of course. <laughs> Dealing with fucking corporations being corrupt and shit. Yep, gotta be a smart ass. <laughs> See where is she? There's Parasini. Allow me to reintroduce myself. Parasini, Novaria Internal Affairs. Why is an internal affairs agent here? The executive board knows about Analeas's corruption. I've been undercover for six months. I want you to convince Keen to testify before the board. With his evidence, this planet can run profitably again. Uh, we're not gonna I worry too much about all the other details. My mission. You help my investigation, I'll provide whatever you need. Favor for Bas favor. Basically, these playthroughs are just going to be like the straight far without like much <laughs> info. <laughs> Look, Shepard, I don't like this either. But the insanity runs are going to be much worse. <laughs> That's bad for business. All right, I'll talk to Keen and see if I can convince him. Thank you. You know where I work. Come talk to me once you know if he'll play ball. Uh, alright, time to convince him, which we should oh, be able to, since I was able to do that with the guards and shit. I, you to look into. I finished the job, but an internal affairs investigator contacted me. She wants you to testify against Analeas. Now that you have my property, you want to dictate how I use it. I have no interest in a public spectacle. Everyone on this station is chafing under Analeas' extortion. You might end up a hero. My employers rely on the goodwill of the executive board to work here. The board is investigating Analeas. They'll be more angry at him than at you. All right. It is obvious that I cannot dissuade you. Very well. I will testify. Make whatever arrangements you need with your contact. I will wait here. Oh yeah, the other awesome thing about freaking just... Uh... This edition... Paragon and Renegade is so easy to get. <laughs> Like, usually with uh, the original, I would not be this high already with Paragon, just from doing only Liara's mission and, like, part of Novaria. Like, I'd probably be, like, maybe half of what I have right now. Which, before, was, like, everything was slow. Like, Paragon was slow, getting XP was slow. Like, this is much more fast-paced compared to the original at least with leveling which in a way kind of makes you really broken really quickly <laughs> but uh it's kind of great because then you don't have to worry about all the like stupid dialogue things are not having enough especially for like things in mass effect 2 where you really need it this one it's not too important yeah it's free paragon <laughs> Yeah, basically. Consideration to my offer? Basically, if you're playing it now, it, it's like ten times easier to get all that There's stuff. Persuasion, but Keen has agreed to testify. 
That's a world of stress off my back. I'll take the evidence for safe transport. <laughs> I didn't think you'd help me, being a specter and all. I guess some of you can be all right. Doesn't this help you? You don't seem particularly happy. I'm ecstatic, but right now, I just feel like a long day of work is ending. While you were working on Keen, I got you a garage pass. Be careful up there. I have an arrest to make. Wish I had time to change into something easy to move in. I hate skirts. This is an outrage. I'll see that you never work in this sector again. Yeah, yeah, get a move on. You, Shepard! I demand you place this bitch under arrest! You have the right to remain silent. I wish to God you'd exercise it. See you around the galaxy, Commander. Wait, why the fuck Alien. is the music so dramatic? <laughs> what the... I don't remember this being so dramatic the last time I did this, or fucking my first playthrough. Oh, whoops. There we go. Um... Okay, we're not going to worry too much about the first aid thing. Just having it's enough. We are just going to go ahead and get that going. So now I don't even have to use Metagel. I can just use Unity to get everybody up. Um, let's see. And yeah, you know what? Let's just keep increasing the assault rifle. It's fine. Uh, we'll go ahead and max out Singularity for now, or at least as high as we can get it. Um, do that. Then let's go ahead and do that. Okay, now we, we're going to peak 15. <laughs> yeah, I have all this corporation bullshit. Well, most of it at least. Access to the garage is restricted. I have authorization. Excuse me. Yes, that's genuine. Drive safely. The weather's supposed to be pretty bad out in the Alutsk Valley. And now we get more Geth. <laughs> See, these are what matriarch has to crazy. I don't have good guns yet where I can just like shoot non stop. Where are these things? Fan out and secure the area. No one gets in or out. What did you do here, Commander? Me. I'm the victim here. The Geth attacked us. Geth. You expect me to. Where did they come from? If I were to guess, the Matriarch packed them in the shipping container she arrived with. I don't believe that. We did thorough scans of those. There were no power sources, no element zero masses. If Benezia Sama's containers were packed with these things, <clears throat> there are many more out there. I need numbers, Captain. A dozen? A hundred? Dozens, at least. They're machines. You could pack them tightly. I must report to the executive board. If word gets out about loose geth, there may be an investor panic. Shit, a lot more than that. Uh, oh yeah, there's an upgrade kit here. Actually, now I think about it, I don't even think I've upgraded my guns yet. I should probably do that. Yeah. Just gonna go ahead where. Do I have incendiary rounds? I do not have incendiary rounds yet. Son of a bitch. Well, that's disappointing.
All right, so we are going to do that at least. I'll just leave the rest empty. Mass Effect, we're back in 2007. Uh, hell yeah, we are. Neon, what's up? <laughs> we're, we're in 2007, but upgraded. I say that as the fucking Mako isn't working. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, this is horrible. I, I can't. Oh. Okay. Is it okay now? We're good? <laughs> the, the game just went nuts on me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I love how I said upgrade and then it fucking immediately did that shit. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, how's it going, Neon? <laughs> Besides, like, uh, jinxing me back to 2007 with, uh, glitches and stuff. <laughs> uh. If I remember right, I think there's like some upgrade stuff right here, real fast. Yep. Alright, yeah, we're not we're not giving a fuck about these turrets. We're, we're killing everything on this road. Usually, I'd just be like driving past all this, but uh, we're we're not doing that today. We're killing every single geth up here. Probably need every rocket too. Oh god damn it. Okay, we're just gonna shoot you. <laughs> I fucking missed. Did did you die? Yeah you did. Okay, cool. <laughs> guys ain't shit. At least not in this version. Uh, nah, fuck it. We're, we're just going to get straight into peak 15. <laughs> fuck all that. Just killing everything, leveling up before we get in there so that I can just be super fucking busted. <laughs> Damn it, did I miss? I, I did miss. Oh no. Just didn't kill, that's all. <laughs> uh, I feel like there's going to be a rocket. Yep. <laughs> How the hell did I end up backwards? <laughs> How do I keep ending up backwards every time?
Ah, uh, man. Sucks. See, probably gonna have a rocket flying at me at any moment here. Yep, there we go. Just gonna go ahead and get rid of these. I think there's like two or three more turrets. I think I'm probably going to be able to level up just from these turrets alone. Yep, there we go. I already made two levels and I barely, I'm not even at peak 15 yet. <laughs> Let's go ahead and level up again. Um, we're, we're just going to max out assault rifles already. And then I'm probably. Actually, you know what? I should have got the charm up a little bit more. Let's get that maxed out. Do that. I know, I'm sure my like leveling up probably doesn't make any sense, but it's fine. <laughs> to be honestly, or to be on it, yeah. Words, man, words. I probably should be getting my health up instead of how I have it right now, because like, I'm getting fucking just destroyed anytime I'm not in cover. Oh, he got up right away. Oh my god, this fucking Krogan. He won't die! <laughs> there we go. Singularity. Did I get him? Probably not. I do not have guns for shit like I usually do. I'm min maxing too. Yeah, it's, it's the way to go, man. <laughs> might, might as well just like. Get like certain things already just like maxed out right now. Especially with like since I'm always using an assault rifle anyways, like Oh my god, these Krogans, dude. I forgot how much of a pain they are. User alert. All peak 15 facilities have suffered a great deal of damage. Biohazard materials uh, present throughout facility. If I remember right. Virtual intelligence user Never mind, there's, there's no loot over here. Fuck. I'm about to fuck this up. Why are the turrets facing the wrong way? They want to keep their people in as much as they want to keep others out. Uh, please be incendiary rounds. 
No, but there's armor piercing rounds. I'll fucking take those. <laughs> Oh yeah, I forgot they're not like how they are in freaking um, 2 and 3 though, but it's fine. Uh, let's give Garrus that. You know what, since I have the synthetic ones, I'll have him do that. I didn't even realize there was two. <laughs> Alright. Time time to bring out them Rachni. this right here. I, I know I'm just like skipping through the little like thing right there for like the information but I'm just trying to get through this game <laughs> so I can get to two. What were those? Not now, Shepard. <laughs> Jeez, chill, Garrus. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to accidentally freaking tap on your name. <laughs> All right, Rack Nine, pop up. There you go. See, are we at the main room yet? Oh yeah, we are. That's it. Bag him attack. Slag? Nope, that's not great. This is though. Uh, how much metagel? Or not metagel? Uh. I forgot what it's called now. Omni gel, there we go. I think I have enough. Shoot. I I'm like hella forgetting stuff now that I'm actually uh <laughs> streaming. Now I should be able to go down here. We're just going to go ahead and do that. I don't want to do a puzzle. <laughs> so we're, we're just going to do the simple way and just pay our way into it repairing like it. Trying to restore this facility. Would you like help? You're the virtual intelligence that runs this place? This system is monitored to respond to the name Mira. May I ask your name? Commander Shepard, I work for the Citadel Special Tactics and Reconnaissance. One moment, please. Council Authority confirmed. You are entitled to secure access of all systems. 
Please note that queries relating to corporate secrets require privileged access. Privileged access is only available to... This system is ready to process queries. You may access me at any holographic interface within peak... I need to find Matriarch Benezia. Lady Benezia departed on the passenger tramway to the Rift Station subsidiary. User alert. The tramway yeah, we're just going to skip through this a little bit. Inoperable. What's the situation here? One moment. Critical failure. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Critical failure. Landline Basically everything's broken. <laughs> Report complete. Do you have an additional system uh, status query? That's yeah, all. I don't Very need all that. Commander, logging you out. User alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency control. Well, we'll do this first this time. Manual restart required. Usually I just go to the part with all the geth, but uh landline connections are disabled. I'm just trying to be fast about this. I, I want to get to that Mass Effect 2 <laughs> still. I I'm probably not gonna be able to do it today, but I think I'll be able to get most of Mass Effect 1 done today. Since I'm like not doing every little tiny thing. Oh shit, they're both dead. Reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Oh, I know. Restored. That's not what I wanted. Very well, Commander. Logging you out. Okay, I got armor now. Oh, yeah, time to Let's see. Can I do it. Why right, is this better? No, it's not. Okay, right, cool. I don't gotta wear pink. <laughs> that, that's the main worry I had right there. Uh. Yeah, you know that's fine. You know that. Actually, you know what? I probably would have fucking chose the Phoenix armor over this. This armor looks ugly too. <laughs> Actually, now I think about too, I should probably upgrade the armor to have some kind of upgrade. Uh, yeah, let's just have the shield recovery. User alert. Main reactor shut down. Perimeter clear. Uh, wait a minute. Yeah, it's this way. The amount of fucking mass effect I'm playing this week, I'm going to be so rusty playing fucking Soul Calibur uh, Wednesday. Actually, later tonight User and alert. Wednesday. Main reactor shut down. Probably going to get bodied that fucking Wednesday night fight. Procedures. Singularity again. Yeah. Okay, that that just got everybody right there. <laughs> that was awesome. Ah shit. Main reactor shut down. 
shut down in accordance with the Oh no. Manual restart required. Nope. Go back inside. Going back inside. She's about to get knocked out too. Yeah, I cannot eat more than one of those rockets. Thanks. Oh, damn it. Thanks for staying the obvious, Garrus. <laughs> um, okay, let's get the charm up. I'll just get the Spectre training going, since that does so much more than uh, fitness. Yeah, I'm gonna basically make myself tanky as fuck while also doing tons of damage <laughs> with an assault rifle. Ah, shit. I don't think there's anything out. Oh, no. Never mind, there is a locker. I should probably be managing this shit way better, but it's fine. <laughs> Like, well, actually right now my assault rifles are kind of garbage. Like, I, I only have Avenger ri assault rifles. I don't have, like, the Geth one or, like, um, the, like, in-game assault rifle or anything where I can just, like, unlimited ammo, just spray everything <laughs> without worrying about overheat or it overheating. I forgot I didn't level up to the R either. Uh, let's go ahead and just, yeah, we'll just get that going. Shari has singularity. That, that's all she freaking needs. Okay, transfer that over. Actually, it's... Mm, yeah, the Lancer's fine. He doesn't need it. Her, on the other hand... What is this? Nah. Let's give her that. Yeah, that's fine. More elevators. Tons and tons of elevators. <laughs> Liara's. Is it really that low? I'm pretty sure I should be able to. <sighs> That's annoying. The leaks couldn't get to the struck. Out while you can. Actually, you could I online connected to subsidiary facilities? How What's this about loose dangerous? Contact? The tram station has been sealed in the interest of crew controls for the fa user alert. The fail-safe system is currently inoperable. 
That's all I yeah, need. okay, well, I'm not able to use it, so that's fine. We're just gonna go ahead and open the door. Be idiots. Bunch of those small ones. All targets down. All right. Time to do this other part, which actually I found out recently that there was a more peaceful solution to do than what I usually do. <laughs> Damn, those big guys definitely in my top 10 ugliest motherfuckers I've ever seen. Oh, yeah, I reckon I are not pretty. <clears throat> I'd say the husks actually kind of beat them, but. That'll be way later, till we see more husks. Uh, okay. So, what we're gonna do... Oh yeah, we can't even go into the hot labs yet. We're not even gonna trip about it. So, yeah, pretty much there's, well, as much as I'm surprised about it, there, there's a way to actually be peaceful here and not get all these people killed that I never knew about until I got back on the remastered here. <laughs> I'd only be upset if they'd fire. Even hopped up on stems, my people know the rule. Two legs good, four legs bad. Look, you're human and that's enough that I won't shoot. I'd like to know who you are. My name is Shepard. I'm a specter. Huh. I won't look a heavily on horse in the mouth. The aliens overran the hot labs last week. Only Han Olar got out, and he ain't all there anymore. First, we knew the bastards were clawing into my command post. We had a lot more staff then. You were taken by surprise. How? Oh, I'll show you in here in a minute. You did Hold a good on. Job, Captain. Yeah? Sure as hell doesn't feel like it. The board sent an Asari to clean up the house. <clears throat> she went to the hot labs yesterday, and we haven't heard from her since. I'm not gonna let any of your people die. All I can do is hold out here and protect the civilians. There's an emergency elevator out by the trams. This card will let you activate it. It can take you down to the hot labs. Oh, and if you need any first aid, Dr. Cohen's downstairs in the med bay. I've got All right, work to we're do. just gonna yeah, bail here, and then... Hell! Man the perimeter! Look out! And good. Thanks for the help. Every few hours a group comes up the tram tunnel. And this just makes us ten times time. better. <laughs> I can't. I don't know why they keep throwing themselves against our defenses. An animal should learn not to stick their noses where it hurts. Alright, so instead of going to the hot labs right away, we're we're gonna go ahead and go down here and uh talk to the one survivor from the hot labs. Actually, no, we're going to talk to two, a few people here. Uh, Certainly. I welcome you. I heard there were some problems up here. Furtively. I am concerned, for now, with forced cheer. I still have a limited supply of equipment to sell. Let's have a look. Regretfully, most of my stock... Okay, we're not really going to buy anything here, we're just getting stuff for the other guy at our ship. This part's not the important part. Th this chick kind of... Actually, no, never mind, she's not important. Sorry, I'll leave. Uh, where is he? That's the quarantine. That's not what I need. I need to talk to the guy in the medical bay first. Because he has his own little side quest. What, what? What do you want? I didn't mean to bother you. 
No, you did nothing wrong. I'm just distracted. What happened to these people? They're suffering from a toxin. It was an accident. I have a non-disclosure agreement. I shouldn't discuss it with anyone outside of the company. But this part's not too important right now, but uh, it's just a side quest on top of all the other stuff that will help you just get to Benazia without killing all these people. She handles the safety protocols for our experiments here. We reactivated her on our way through Central Station. That was you? I'm grateful. Until she came online, the automatic equipment wouldn't work. We lost the connection to Mira in the middle of an experiment and the quarantine failed. These three were exposed to a toxin, something we were working on. I understand your caution, but I need details. What you say won't go beyond these walls. It's a bioweapon, based on an exotic life form discovered on the frontier. They wanted something that could kill the creature, but there was no profit in something that kills one species on the frontier. We kept working on it and adapted. Oh yeah, and that species they're talking about is uh, the one on Pharos. <laughs> doesn't matter how safe you make it. Biological weapons are illegal. Militaries, governments, they'll get this kind of weapon one way or another, and we're trying to limit the damage. I know you can't see that. There's a reason the Citadel Conventions forbid bioweapons, Doctor. I didn't expect you'd understand. Our notes and equipment are locked in the quarantine labs. Captain Ventralis doesn't want to risk more contamination. I'll talk to him. Maybe I can convince him to let me try. I can't ask you to do this officially, but if you can do it, actually no. Sorry, this this quest actually is important because you need to get into this area. Because besides uh helping him with this cure, you're also talking to the uh, Volus that's down there. So basically, you just gotta get that quest right, and then pretty much you gotta go back to the other dude or the captain over here. Ask him to let you in there, and uh, it'll trigger something down there or a fight down there that will uh, get the Volus to like tell you where they came from or the Geth. We're not part of your defense plans. We're consuming extra rations, extra metagel. Yeah, but you also have extra guns. All right, you want to gamble with your life? You're not under my command. I'll have the guard let you in, but he'll lock the door behind you. He'll run a full scan before I'll let you out. If there are any anomalies, you stay in there. Those are reasonable for God. I'll radio ahead to let the guard know. I've got work to do. You and me both. Okay, so now we go back this way and shit. And basically, uh... Same thing, you're just going down to the quarantine area to go talk to that Volus. But on top of that, you're also going to try to get this cure for this toxin. So yeah, here's, here's him. You came to find out about them, didn't you? You mean those things out there? Yes. I'm the only survivor from the hot lab, you know. I need to know more about those things out there. About the Rachni? Rachni? That's preposterous. Where did they come from? <laughs> they found it in a derelict ship. An egg. The waiting since the last battles. They brought it here. Shut up! God, you want to get us killed? I don't have any control over who lives or dies here. Do you? If you're going to be crazy, be the quiet kind. Crazy? I'm sane. God, am I sane. Uh, I need to know everything about the wreck. I told you all I can. Okay, yeah. So that's all good for that, right? And then, uh... You go up to this guy, pretty much. You're not part of the crew. Call me Shepard. I'm a Spectre, sent by the Citadel. There aren't any human Spectres. Look, Plague doesn't care who you are. This lab is under quarantine. Wait, what the hell? What do you want? I have Ventralis's permission to go yeah, in. Yeah, he radioed. 
You also said you have to prove you're not <laughs> Got, gotta love it, right? Nah, fuck off. You're not allowed here. Oh, uh, you got permission? Okay. <laughs> Uh, we're just going to go ahead and get this real fast. Let's go over here. Got that. There we go. Care created. Real easy. Ambush. You're a sleeper agent for Venezia. I was ordered to eliminate you should the opportunity arise. And here you are, trapped in this lab. Weapons free! God damn it. Uh, let's see. Okay, everything's just floating everywhere. <laughs> Needed to chill just a little bit. But yeah, once you do that, basically, uh, you can go fight Benezia right after this. Because, uh, the Volus over here will tell you that you can, uh, they came out of the lab. They came out of there. You yeah, the there you go. The inorganics the Asari had with her. Benezia brought them with her. How can I get into the maintenance area? A team lead would have access, like Dr. Cohen. He's in the medical bay. I'll be leaving now. And then there you go. That, that, that's all you need. You just gotta do that little side quest and you pretty much save all these people's lives. Uh, now if I can remember how to get to the elevator. So basically, you just do that side quest to uh, get a cure. Talk to that Vol or the Volus right there, and then go back to the guy to turn in the quest, and then get the pass or the key. And then that's it. You don't have to kill anybody else in this lab, except for the Rachni and Benezia. It was the same thing with uh, everybody else I've talked to about this little part of the quest. I don't think anybody really knows about this, Is that the cure? or it might be new. I'm not sure. That Asari scientist, the one in the mess hall, she just tried to kill us. Malestia? That's unbelievable. I, I, uh, I don't know much about her. She arrived a month ago. One of the shareholders pulled strings to get her here. Let me guess. Saren the Spectre. Yes. I think that was the name. I, I don't pay attention to the other research teams. Look. The guards. They've been more on edge since you got here. I think they were expecting you. And there are more labs in the back. The guards won't even let me back there. Just people with clearance. What about the maintenance area? Do you have access to that? The maintenance area? Yes. Take my pass. But there's just snow back there. Let me see that file. Yeah, bullshit. There's snow. I thought he was on the right track. I can't thank you <coughs> enough. That oh God, what a cliche! You saved their lives. Do you know that? Time to ask for Medi Gel. Them don't even need. They're worth their gold up here. You didn't get these from me. And Trollis wanted them saved. I need to administer this. Thanks again. Okay, and that's all you need. And now we can go kill Benezia and fucking deal with the Rachni and the Hop Labs right after. But we're being super good goody two shoes on this route. <laughs> I mean hell like I'm already like halfway now. There you go. Seems familiar, right? Basically, just 
straight out into this place. God damn it. Nah, I'm probably not going to get this. Oh, nope. I got it. Just barely. <laughs> Just in case, I'm going to go ahead and save, because I haven't done that in a while. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, this is way better too. And there you go. <laughs> Turn it toward happiness or despair. Her children were to be ours, raised to hunt and slay Saren's enemies. I won't be moved by sympathy, no matter who you bring into this confrontation. Liara's here because she wants to be, not because I asked her to. Indeed. What have you told him about me, Liara? What could I say, Mother? That you're insane? Evil? Should I explain how to kill you? What could I say? Have you faced an Asari commando unit before? Few humans have. I can't <laughs> they ain't shit, though. <laughs> I now realize <laughs> commandos I ain't shit. Or the Asari commandos, I should say, ain't shit. Kill not. Oh, wait, it's because I'm a freaking sniper rifle. I think I've leveled up like four times on just this one planet already. <laughs> Hell, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> uh, let's, let's go ahead and just do Garrus back up because uh, I'm getting freaking surrounded. I don't like it. He's down again. Poor Garrus. This is not over. Saren is unstoppable. My mind is filled with 
is light. Everything is clear. The Rachni didn't cooperate with you. Why should I? I will not betray him. You will. You... You must listen. Saren still whispers in my mind. I can fight his compulsions briefly, but the indoctrination is strong. So you could turn on me again? Yes, but it would not be my will, Shepard. People are not themselves around Saren. You come to idolize him, worship him. You would do anything for him. The key is Sovereign, his flagship. It is a dreadnought of incredible size, and its power is extraordinary. Sovereign's not like other ships. Where did it come from? I cannot say. The Geth did not build it. Its technology is far more advanced than that of any known species. The longer you stay <laughs> aboard, the more Saren's will seems correct. Gotta love indoctrination, man. <laughs> strong enough to resist instead I became a willing tool eager to serve he sent me here to find the location of the Mew relay its position was lost thousands of years ago someone on Novaria found it 2,000 years ago the Rachni inhabited that region of our galaxy they discovered the relay the Rachni can share memories across generations Queens inherit the knowledge of their mothers I took the location of the relay from the Queen's mind. I was not gentle. You can still make it right. Give me the information. I was not myself, but I should have been stronger. I transcribed the data to an OSD. Take it, please. Knowing the relay's coordinates is not enough. Do you know where he planned to go from there? Saren wouldn't tell me his destination, but you must find out quickly. I transmitted the coordinates to him before you arrived. You have to stop me. I, I can't. Yeah, this is the part where we gotta kill our mother. <laughs> Fingers on my spine. You should, you should, oh, you should. Mother, I, don't leave. Fight him. You've always made me proud, Liara. It's such a weird scene. Die. <laughs> this part's always so weird. <laughs> Wait, what the hell? D did Liara just... Liara just fucking froze me. <laughs> God damn it. They are froze me, and then she got fucking gunned down by her dog. <laughs> you will stop him, Shepard. Hold on. We've got Nedid, y'all. Maybe we can... No. He is still in my mind. I am not entirely myself. I never will be again. Mother. Good night, little wing. I will see you again with the dawn. Sorry, I'm having so many weird things happen on this one when I'm streaming than when I'm playing by myself. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I leveled up, right? Yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and get this going. Almost maxed out on that. Oh yeah, I should probably level them up too. It's kind of important. Uh, yeah, I'll just get this all training up. use heavy armor yet, but that's all right.
So, uh, yeah, I'm probably going to save the Rachni Queen, like I usually do. Um, I'm not going to kill it. That That's going to be for the insane run. I'm going to end up just being the most biggest asshole I can be on insanity. Damn, it's already almost 3.30. Holy shit. One move all. We are the mother. We I was supposed to have like a break in between. <laughs> the children. I didn't think it would take this much time to get through Neveria and Liara's part. How are you speaking through her? Our kind sing through touchings of thought. We pluck I guess it's mostly because of the dialogue, but yeah. The other she is weak to urging. She has colors we have no names for. But she is ending. Her music is bittersweet. It is beautiful. The children we birthed were stolen from us before they could learn to sing. They are lost to silence. End their suffering. They cannot be saved. They will only cause harm as they are. So yeah, pretty much after we do this, she's, she still tells you to go to the hot labs and uh, clear out the rest and all that junk. If you're sure they can't be saved. It is lamentable, but necessary. Do what you must. Before you deal with our children, we stand before you. What will you sing? Will you release us? Are we to fade away once more? The Rachni were a threat to the galaxy. Those tanks are filled with acid. If she gets out of hand, they dissolve her. They made a mistake. They let the Krogan go too far. This is a chance for us to atone. She has done nothing to us. Your companions hear the truth. You have the power to free us or return our people to the silence of All right, so yeah, we won't kill her. <laughs> Long story short, we're, we're just keep I her alive. <laughs> You'll go free. You will Even though I'm not sure what the consequences are if you do let her die, besides just like not having Rachni to help you later on, but that—that's it's okay though. That, that's where the asshole run of being a renegade is going to come in for all this. That's like the fifth level up <laughs> that we've had just on this one planet. Oh. Not sure what the enemies are, but fine. I think it's probably uh, by the elevator. Maybe? Either way, we're down here now. Are you here to secure the situation? How are you holding up? You must listen to me. If we do not contain our mistake, they will drop bombs from the battle stations. You understand? You let these things out? Uh, I am only following the orders. Binary Helix found an egg. It was on a derelict ship, thousands of years drifting. 
this was Ragnar's ship. Inside they find many eggs in cryogenic suspension. A thousand year old egg hatched? Yes. Very tough to be so long frozen. That it survived the centuries. This is miraculous. Binary Helix plan to clone Ragnar. We must produce them, create an army. But when they get here, they find this egg is not a common Ragnar. It is a queen. After she lays eggs, they move her to Rift Station. They are thinking that without her, they can raise the babies to be obedient. Obviously, they were wrong. Ah, this was exactly the wrong thing to do. I am thinking that without a queen, Rachni do not develop properly. Her mind is shaping theirs. These Rachni are uncontrollable. Then all we need to do is bring her here. No, I am sorry. But this will not work. These Rachni are beyond saving. It is a sad thing, but they must be euthanized. I am thinking that the Neutron Purge must be set off. Once the purges are armed, we'll have to fight Sure, sure. I would... Mother always say I would meet a bad end. Oh, he's gonna meet a bad end, for sure. <laughs> I need information. The neutron purge is a fail-safe system installed within the isolation tube area. In the event of irretrievable, activate the neutron purge. I'm sorry, but I can't do that without proper code. Who would have the code? Director of Operations Yaroslav Tartakovsky. We're moving on. Logging you out, Commander. All right. Go back to him. I am feeling not so well. How do we set up? Arming controls are nearby. All you do is insert the key, then uh, I will get the mirror And he dead. <laughs> Straight through the fucking chest. <laughs> Like crazy. Code Omega. Verify. Well, I say like crazy, but not really. Ah, damn, it's recharging. That is not great for me. those cleared out now I can get the fuck out of here <laughs> and everything's peaceful and there you go Pretty much keep everybody alive except for Benezia and all those Rachni. <sighs> Did good. Took longer than I expected to actually clear out that area, but yeah. <laughs> What's our next move, Commander? Head for the Mew Relay? The Mew Relay could link to dozens of systems. Unless we know exactly where Saren's going, we'd just be wasting our time. The Commander is right. We cannot rush off blind. We still need to learn more about Saren. Who put you in charge? Did the Commander resign when I wasn't looking? We're all on the Fucking same Ashley, team. Fucking Ashley, man. She's just <laughs> trying to help. Sorry, Commander. This is a tough mission. We're all on edge. 
Everyone go get some rest. Crew, dismissed. Ovaria report is away, Commander. You want me to patch it through to the Council? Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Is this report accurate, Commander? You found Rachni on Navaria? And then released the Queen. Do you have any idea what you've done? How many generations until they overrun the galaxy? This Queen is different. She understands why her kind had to be wiped out last time around. I hope you're right, Shepard. Our children's children will pay the price if you're not. We'll be waiting for your next report, Commander. Yeah, that ain't, that ain't gonna happen. <laughs> That'll be fine. Uh, get this maxed out. Oh, wait, shit. There we go. Uh, I'll do that. And now we can use heavy armor, which. I'm going to go ahead and do that. I think all this is good. Alright. So, uh, I want to be right back. I'm here trying to see what keep right in scan. It's annoying. <laughs> I never finished that. I do enough just to get some extra money here and there, but I never finished that quest. Good luck finding all those. Freaking, it's going to take a minute, especially if you don't know which ones you did scan or not. That, that's going to be a freaking nightmare. But uh, I'm 19 of 20. Aw, oh, <laughs> yeah, that that's going to suck. Okay. I'm gonna be right back guys, uh, probably like five minutes or so.